I'm not leaving you with, uh, uh, not leaving you with nothing. <laughs> God, I hate those double negatives. Right, so uh, I, I said, I said I was going to leave you with something. Well, if you want to know how to wire up the heated seats on a 2013 Nissan Leaf Tecna, here goes. So I've taken the harness out. I'd say it's a lot of work to do this. Um, There are a lot of wires that you have to strip down. It takes a lot of time to take a harness out of a car. I don't recommend it. Uh, I think the easier thing to do would be to take the connectors off and wire your own to it. So uh, I'll give you this quick run through. If you have taken the harness out, the wires you're looking for are... Well, firstly, all the black wires go to ground. That's nice and easy. That's not really a problem. You can easily follow that. Uh, the other wires that exist are some purple ones that end up going to some grey ones. These are the illumination for the lights and should be connected to a white wire that runs along the driver's side footwell. That is kind of, it goes to 12 volt when the lights are on. Simple. Right, the other connector is green and pink. Now these go right down to the driver's footwell. One of those is the front heated seats, the other one's the rear heated seats. They're both connected to two separate 15 amp relays. The final wire is grey and that is a ground return for the lighting uh, on the switches. So that's quite simply how you wire up the seats. Um, it, it all works re really well. I've tested it with the existing switches, low and high. I can tell you how the connectors are wired up if you're interested. Uh, there's some nice diagrams around the place. Uh, but that is uh, reasonably well documented in the service manual. So, um, that would be how you put the heated seats in. Now, since my leaf is getting sold, I'm not planning on completing this. Um, I don't know if the next owner would appreciate the heated seats and it takes it away from being a stock car which it currently is so um, yeah I would have done so I would also say if you're interested the heated steering wheel is a significant piece of work again all the harness is all wrapped together so um, you'll have to strip down the harnesses again to do that I would recommend instead you look at the pinout on the uh, connector going into the heated steering wheel and into the switch on the side and uh, re-pin it and run it across to the relay. The relays on this car are all at the far side so they're all over there at the top near the fuse box. So you can see this harness is going to route all the way across the IP um, which is pretty difficult access. So, yeah, giving you a heads up, don't recommend doing it. Substantially more work than it's worth. If you want techno features, as you're probably going to tell me before I start this project, buy a techno car. Upgrading the Ascenter to techno is not an easy job. Um, and it is most definitely not financially worth it. So, this guy's getting all packed up. So uh, I'm going to tidy up the harness a bit before I do that and then uh, wrap it all up. It's been really good fun. I'm really sorry I couldn't take it further. I must say I really wanted to, but um, uh, the French would say c'est la vie. Um, that's life. I'll be all on the MG for you guys because uh, I think that's what you're most interested in. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for following the project if you have. If you have any questions, I, I try and answer, but it uh, looks like I'm getting to the end of the, end of the road for Nissan Leaf ownership. Uh, just because they don't quite work for me next. Thank you again for tuning in, and uh, I do hope, to, hope to see you in my future videos. Like and subscribe as always, and uh, feel free to drop comments, and I'll, I'll respond when I, when I can. Thank you for listening.